Okay, so I'm back here again with another video this time. This time, um, uh, yeah, you may have seen the title of this. I'm probably gonna change it after I premiered it, but um, I have recently got another panel and acquired one, so you may wonder what it is. Um, got a Firelight MS5 ED. Yeah, well, basically, um, basically, uh, every, like, a lot of fire alarm enthusiasts own these, so I'm basically now one of them. <laughs> um, it has five knacks, five, no, five zones, th four knacks, um, two more than my 4006, um, so, yeah. And this one has a cabinet, uh, I decided not to do the battery hack right now, but, nah. Yeah. Now, you may be thinking I'm probably going to have a uh, system sensor device and a BG-12 to run it. Well, you are wrong. <laughs> I kind of been wanting to get weight on this panel for a while to do a Siemens test. Um, because, well, there's something interesting you probably may not know about the 5ED. If you know your 5EDs well, you probably know why I have these two devices up. So I have the Pyrotronics MS-51 up. And a Siemens UMHU. And yes, I put some medical tape. Yeah, I know it looks crappy, but this thing is loud. I don't know what happened to the scotch tape I was using, but oh well. So, yeah. So let's pull this. All right. We have alarm on zone four. So... Let's acknowledge it. Wait, the UMMT is doing audible silence. And if you look, there's only one knack running. Well, guys, say hello to Faraday Sync, so... Yeah, um, this panel is probably, I word this panel having the most sync options out of, like, any panel, basically. I don't even think the 9200 can even come close to this, to how many sync options there are. Like, there's more, I believe there's more sync options on the 5ED than, like, the 4006. The 4006 has two. One of them is really useful for running certain devices like the smart sync. Um, as for um, as for the um, AFP 400, it does not have any built-in synchronization, and the Fire Shield only had EST. Well, the Genesis stuff. Yeah, do not like resetting this pull station. But I wanted to do a Siemens theme test today, so yeah. Setting this with one hand is a pain in the ass. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to do something. So I got that resetted, so I guess we'll do a system reset now. Prepare for the troubles to come in. Nice thing is you can acknowledge all the troubles at once, so yeah. So let's... Let's go into programming mode. Not showing the password though. We have like multiple stuff like input zones, snacks, relays. Um, I have, uh, you know, you can see I have Faraday sync. So if we look into codings, we actually have a lot of codings here. So we have steady March time, California, temporal, two stage, three minute, two stage, five minute. Um, we have system sensor, we lock Gentex. And and we have Faraday and Amsico, which I have it set to Faraday Sync. I'm actually quite surprised that uh, Faraday Sync and Amsico, well, Faraday Sync made it onto the panel, but yeah. And it's enabled here. 
I do have silent sync mute. Here's the options, which is silence bull, non silence bull, sync mute, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, like we have the input zones here. You can see normal pole station. Yeah. Yeah, this only has five zones, and we have some relays, history, clear program, password change, and walk test. So, so save. save and config. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that's uh, the Firelight MS5 ED for you guys, so. So that's the 5 ED for y'all. So see you guys later next time, and this is something to do with the next time. Signing out.